in this session na let's learn about range partition okay in the range partition you divide your data based on a data range whether it is a date range or a number range okay i want to divide my data based on the sales month okay all my january and february month i want in one partition march and april in one partition may and june in one partition july and august in one partition september and october in one partition november and december in one partition that means i am dividing my yearly data into six partitions okay or if you think your data is really huge then you can divide your data into 12 partitions okay like january february all the way to december each partition holds a month worth of data okay here you see i am creating a table called sales 1 and i am partitioning by range and what is the column i am using for the range it's a order date that means based on the order date range i am dividing the data into partitions okay here it is partition partition name values less than 2015 july that means all the data for the order date less than 2015 july first will be stored in partition sales p15 07 and all the order rows with the order date less than or equal to 2015 august 1st will be stored under partition sales p1508 and all the rows with the order date less than 2015 september 1st will be stored in sales p1509 and all the other values which are greater than this value will be stored in the sales underscore p max you see i divided it to four partitions okay but whereas you can create a table with 12 partitions and each partitioning holding a months worth of data okay now let's go and create this table okay so it just like a, we create a regular table create table sales 1 and the column is customer id number and i want the sales date which is a date column and then i want the order amount which is number and then i want the region which is a varchar to column of 10 okay so if we can create this table this table will become a non partition table i want this table to be partition so partition by we want a range partition right so range using which column we want by sales date right yes sales date close it and then bracket start so what's the first partition 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 name i want to give it as 1506 p1506 values less than and the date okay to date of 01 january 2015 comma dd dash mon dash yy bracket close and close comma okay that is my first partition so let me paste this okay control c and and let me create 12 partitions 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay and take the comma out and close the bracket okay so let me rename that 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 you can name the partition name however you want okay they need to be distinct for the given table okay and here i need to change the range right february march april may 
this is June, July, August, September, October, November and December. And uh, let me do that. Suppose example if we have more values after December we will say we will take this out and we'll say max value okay so that means if the values are greater than or equal to 1st December they'll be stored in this partition okay and I'll make this P151 so now you see this is the table I have four columns and I am creating a range partition on sales date and I am creating 13 partitions okay one for each month and then after that if there is any value greater than or equal to 1st December I'll be storing in the P1518 partition okay so let me select that and create the table you see table sales one created now let's insert some data insert into sales 1 values customer ID 12th Jan 2015 comma order amount 10 and east okay so and let me insert and then commit okay so where will this row be inserted it is 12th January right so is it less than 1st January no so is it less than February 1st February yes so this row will be stored in the partition P1507 right okay let me insert this February and make the order ideas and run this insert another row and let me commit okay so now how do we check where these rows are stored okay so I will do sales 1 to show that we have two rows okay we have two rows so now if you want to query the data for a particular partition it is partition and the partition name so I want to see if there are any rows in P1506 okay so I select that close it and semicolon so no rows okay because we didn't insert any rows with less than 1st January 2015 so let me query P1507 so now let me run that you see the 12th January 15 sales date row is stored in the partition P1507 because 12th January is less than 1st February 2015 okay like this depending upon your sales date value the rows are stored in different partitions okay and let me show you something else okay so I'll take this out and say where sales date equal to 12th January 2015 and let me execute this obviously you'll get one row how do we know that Oracle access the entire table or it just access that one partition let's take a look at the explain plan okay so here so here I go and run the execution plan okay you see the third button this is your execution plan and if you look at the execution plan you see partition range single that means it accessed only one single partition to get this data okay cool right like this uh, using a range partition you can divide your data using the range into multiple partitions and manage it effectively okay